Sir Lenworth Henry for services to drama and to charity. A knighthood for services to drama and charity. Not bad going for the lad from Dudley, and you have to admit, it kind of has a ring to it. Sir Lenny then. Yeah. Congratulations, how does so it feel, it's people so calling you that? The official thing is Sir Lenworth George Henry, but I think it's going to be Sir Lenny for the rest of my life now, right? He's certainly come a long way from his early days as a stand-up and then the Lenny Henry show. Katanga and welcome to Britain's first. Nowadays, of course, he's regarded as one of our best-loved entertainers. People in the stalls, can I get a yeah? Yeah! People in the royal circle, can I get a hell yeah? Yeah! People in the cheap seats. But as an outspoken champion of diversity in the media, even he couldn't have known how close to the royal circle he'd actually get. Me being in show business wasn't going to happen because things like that didn't happen to people that look like me. So for me to be here is unimaginable and yet strangely imaginable. And while his services to drama were acknowledged, this is him as Othello, it's his work for comic relief that really resonates and that's who he wants to share the award with. Help and a little bit of cash from me, we were able to move Bernard and his family to a better place to live and give him the thing he wanted most in the world, an education. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lynette. Haircut. <laughs> Everybody has given money to Comic Relief. Every kid who shaved their head or said wibble at the end of a sentence or walked to school with custard in their Wellingtons. Anybody who's put their hand down the sofa to find change. Anybody who's actually helped from the celebrity circuit. We really appreciate it and this is for them as well. But let's go back to that moment today with the Queen at Windsor Castle. Can I ask you what she said to you now when, when you met the Queen? No, I'd have to kill you. I can't, <laughs> Don't do that. No, I can't reveal what she said. It's a state secret. Well, uh, were you nervous speaking to her or was it OK? Well, I've met her before. We, we go to Nando's on a regular <laughs> basis. <laughs> we're always in Nando's together. She has the Piri Piri chicken. And if he takes his knighthood with him the next time they go to Nando's, I'm sure they'll throw in a free side order of fries too. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.